respected judges of the day, Dr. Bhagwan Prashad Divedi, Dr. Ramesh Sinha, Dr. Vimal Sanjipati, participants of the day, all lovely children, and all teachers. We all have just now witnessed debates on two topics, two burning topics. And before the break, we heard, we took part, children took part in speech competition on cleanliness and on the utility of plastic. Children of classes 2 to 5 perform very well and you all can sit down because I'll, take, I'll be taking a little more time. Okay, don't stand. So many things are there in the mind. I don't know how many things I'll be able to put across. While listening to your debates on the two topics, my memory took me back to nearly 26 years before, somewhere in 1994, when the new interactive approach was introduced And one of the tasks given in the main course book of class 10 was to divide the children in groups and assign them with the task of preparing their own skit on the given topic. So the class was to be divided into, according to the number of uh, strength, maybe five groups or six groups. I was very apprehensive whether the children will be able to perform or not. And in the main course book, it was given that once your children are prepared, you can call your colleagues, you can also call your principal to witness the performance of the children. So as I told, I was a little apprehensive whether my children will be capable of preparing a good skit of, on their own and then performing it. But, I was in for a pleasant surprise because when the children prepared it and when they performed it, I was really impressed, my colleagues were impressed, my principal was impressed. While deciding on what topics we should give you to debate today, we the teachers, the in-charges, were a little doubtful whether our children will be able to debate on these two topics specially, CAA and removal of 370 article. But as I was in for present surprise way back in 26 years before, today also I got surprised and it was a pleasant surprise to see all these participants doing a wonderful job. So thank you children, thank you all the participants for updating us so well. Now particularly this group of children, classes 6 to 8, 6 to 9 and 11, I am sure I was observing you also today that compared to previous debates, today your listening skills were put into right use. Majority of you were listening because the topics were very interesting. Devedi sir and Ratnesh sir also in their speeches they have briefed us with their opinions. 
the analogies, the analogies of what Devani sir gave the analogy of the snake, killing of the snake by the mangoes, Nebla. That how we get mistaken at times when we see things temporarily, but when we see the same thing on permanent basis, our opinions change. Similarly, a wonderful analogy of floods, troubles brought by the river, the revolutions given by the minister were also equally wonderful. But if we will not have these floods, our fields will not be filled with the right soil. When rivers get flooded and when the floods get over, we are left with fertile soil also. The floods bring in along with them beautiful fertile soil which helps us to cultivate and grow beautiful crops. And after the rains, we also have a beautiful season of spring. Spring brings us, shows us the glory of nature. All that we need for what I understand, for the Citizens Amendment Act, all we have to show to the government in case it is uh, asked is your birth certificate. I think majority of us have it. You have or we have to show a passing certificate of class 10, class 8, whichever class we have or a driving license or a Aadhaar card, any one of these documents. And more so, if we are having none of these articles, none of these cards, certificates, maybe there is a very poor person, maybe a, a person living in a remote place who has not made any of these things, he doesn't have a birth certificate, he doesn't have any, he hasn't been to a school, he has not got himself into Aadhaar card or he doesn't have a driving license. All that he has to do is bring three witnesses who can certify that yes, they know him or know her. And if a person is not having even three persons who know him, that means one of our Participants say, if you are a country, then how are you scared? And if you are not a country, then how are you going to be scared? Why are you bothered? And as far as Article 370 is concerned, it was a long, it was a style. This word was used by the participant, one of the participants. That is the key word. It was brought into use only on temporary basis, which was to be removed. As far as debating skills are concerned, we always keep these two prizes separate, for and against. You all know, this trend DPS Nigai follows. Because with the given topics, it is difficult at times to think against the motion. So those children who prepared against the motion, it was difficult for them, but still they tried to get their points. And again, I would uh, emphasize the point made by Devedi sir, that debates are a serious forum and we should utilize it in a nice manner. We should not convert these forums into an entertainment forum. The hint should go to all of you because somewhere in future you also will be getting opportunity either here in the school or in the colleges when you will go, when you will be debating over there. So you should keep all these points in mind. As far as Kashmir is concerned, I was reading Dasham Granth written by Guru Gobind Singh. 
in that while he is writing about the 24 avatar he has written about ram ji and in that when ram ji was exiled was sent on exile for 40 years before he was to leave a messenger hanuman ji was called and he was sent by a to fetch his brother bharat and where was he called from where was he ruling at that time it is mentioned that he had gone to kashmir to bring him from there bharat had come and requested ram not to go later lap and kush you all know they were the sons of ram it is written in the dasham granth that kush ruled over kashmir and lap's descendants came down to varanasi where they studied vedas they became vedis so kashmir has been part and parcel of our country long long before removal of this article will help us to come closer and naturally in all these years of more than seven decades companies were not able to go and establish themselves over there now things will open up and the local lights will surely benefit of course one of the doubts or one of the questions raised during the time of independence was that if we allow many people to come in kashmir will get polluted the very it will become polluted and its beauty will be lost but that will not happen if kashmir is beautiful was singroli not beautiful singroli was also beautiful it was full of forests it had its natural natures bounty over here damanjodi where nalko is functioning where hl is functioning if you happen to go there you will find it far more beautiful i come from sonagada area koraput area it is one of the most beautiful places of our country we when we think of a place to visit we go to goa we go to nenital we go to shimla we go to darjeeling but there are so many other places of our country which are very beautiful so there too companies went established themselves and the local people were benefited here also you see our example of singroli the land of these got the jobs got the money of course when we are going in for a sustained development in these places similarly sustained development will take place in kashmir valley also and as sinha sir pointed out that the flood situation may last for a decade 15 years two decades but ultimately it will see the result it will result and you all will be witnessing the benefits of these decisions in the days to come so to the end i would only say i would congratulate all the participants for presenting their views so beautifully thank you